Jamaica's Serena Cole shines in 100 meter heats in Cali. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments. After this, sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready yep good to go jamaica's serena cole the long jump and 100 meter sprint sensation out of edwin allen shone like shine die what's the song again people shine bright like a diamond <laughs> don't laugh she was spectacular in cali in the heats of the women's 100 meters serena cole running out of lane one in heat number that's heat number two dominated the field with absolute ease the 11.13 second junior who entered the competition as the world's third or fourth fastest over the women's 100 meters for the 2022 season that is on the 20 was absolutely spectacular as we had anticipated it Serena Cole won in a time of 11.39 seconds and was a clear plus 0 0.22 seconds ahead of her nearest arrival, the Canadian uh, Sydney McDermott, who ran a PB, a time of 11.61, to take that second position. Now, we here at Peter Lloyd World have featured Serena Cole on several occasions. We really think that this young lady is a tremendous talent that I wouldn't say is overlooked, but is underestimated. I do believe that she will become a sub-11 queen very soon. Uh, Serena Cole, just in case you are not aware of it, um, is the person who st started has started all our the world record-breaking on the 20 women's four by 100 meter relays she's a spectacular sprinter and recently she came second running that third best time for the 2022 season uh for an under 20 female at the in the finals of the junior 100 meter uh championships at the national trials at the national stadium Now, this, of course, is my two cents. One gets the impression that Serena Cole should be able to medal at this championship, championships in the finals of the under-20 girls' one women's, apologies, 100 meters. I sincerely believe that she will lower her time significantly come the semifinals and do the same in the finals. In fact, I am thinking that there's a high potential high potential that jamaica will actually go gold and silver in this event it is highly probable all conditions being equal and both ladies remaining injury free which i suspect that they will serena cole's, cole's talent is as i said it's 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 without question no one can question her talent
very very competent sprinter and every time i see her on the track she gets faster and faster to me if you look back at the race and break this down this was a walk in the park for her she was literally cruising at a very reasonable speed she she ran a brilliant race she only ran 11.39 it was still there and she was not making any kind of effort like tina clayton she shut down maybe 20 meters out and cruised through the line she looks to be in phenomenal i mean when i say phenomenal phenomenal condition and she may surprise us and perhaps even run something close or a sub 11 here at these championships she looks that close to she looks that uh, spectacular to me in the semi-finals so in my opinion this young lady i can see her meddling in this competition in the finals i believe that all the ingredients are there and like i said every single time i see her she gets faster now one of the things that she's known for is her start and her start in this heat was okay it wasn't a usual start like i said what normally happens is the athlete has to do just enough to get through to that final in the heats you take it easy remember it's tomorrow august the third that they will be running that uh final that's at least the semi-finals and i think the finals so she they have to conserve as much as is humanly possible so she basically is doing just enough to get through but go back and take a look at that race start solid not her best i've seen her do better starts drive phase really really good hits that top end speed at this point shuts down 80 meters out now her top end speed the t speed that takes you uh takes you through the line her drive phase was excellent but she really shut it all the way down hence the time don't look at the time for the heats it's not relevant you will see something much better in the semi-finals. She will, she will have to push herself to get through to that finals. And like I said in the previous video that we did on Tina Clayton, go check it out. Um, this is going to be competitive. It's not going to be an easy goal silver for Jamaica. We have some amazing young athletes out there. I mean, I'm talking about generally just super amazing. The <laughs> What a time to be alive as a track and field enthusiast and a fan of the art of track and field. Absolutely remarkable. So this young lady, I think, looks good. Looks like she could possibly have, if not a sub-11, something very, very close to a, a, a maybe a 11.05, 11.04, somewhere around that in her legs. She looks spectacular. She's going to run a way faster time than this 11.39. Believe me, she was just walking. But of course, this is just my two cents i would love to know your thoughts go back look at the race let me know what you think now don't forget to keep it locked here on peter lloyd where we'll be covering all the major track and field events the one happening in england the one happening in in uh south america and more to come i want to say once more big up and bless up remember you are royals greatness personified you are kings and queens do not forget to hit the subscribe button Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And leave your comments. I really, really want to hear your comments. I learn a lot. Uh, sometimes we have to agree to disagree, but I absolutely adore your comments. You're kings and queens. Bless up!